The killer Paul Bernardo may be staying in a maximum security prison, but according to what Donna French has been told, the man who tortured and killed her daughter Kristen is living a cushy life behind bars. As Laurent Sabrin reports, the dangerous offender is out of solitary confinement, working in the prison library. Bernardo is one of the most despicable criminals in Canada. He drugged and sexually assaulted his sister-in-law, Tammy Hamolka. And with the help of his wife, Carla, he tortured and strangled teenagers Leslie Mahaffey and Kristen French. The heinous crime spree would have continued if Hamolka hadn't started talking when he nearly beat her to death. Bernardo was declared a dangerous offender. The public led to believe he'd be locked up for life. I was sure that he would be in solitary confinement for ever. Donna French was shocked to learn Bernardo's now out of solitary confinement working in the prison library. They wrote us a, a few months ago and uh, it was, it hadn't just happened, it had been a couple of years I believe. Oh, did he be working in yes. the library? Did they say why they allowed him to work in the library? No. Donna French is upset, people in St. Catharines infuriated. He should be locked up 23 hours a day. <laughs> What he did to those girls was horrendous. There's no way he should be sitting in a library or restocking shelves. It's awful. It's awful. I even, I even get choked up because I grew up in Scarborough. So I remember. It's awful. 20 years after the Bernardo Homoka crime spree, people react like it happened yesterday. When it comes to parents, you know, being careful with their teenagers, especially teenage girls. Now, the anger and raw emotion is still so intense for many in this community that they can't even drive by the Grace Lutheran Church parking lot where Kristen was abducted without all those nightmarish memories coming back to them. But if you remember, it was an absolutely horrific thing. You know, we were afraid to walk in the streets and... Just what, what the crimes that he committed were just horrific and the fact that he can have any sort of life again. Those girls never have life. Their families' lives will never be the same. Why should he get anything? Now, now that's the question people are asking. Why should Bernardo get anything? The feeling here in St. Catharines, Nick, is given what he did, he should simply rot in solitary confinement. Back to you. Yeah, I'm sure that feeling expands beyond St. Catharines. Thanks a lot, Lauren Savern, reporting live for us tonight.